Dia! Dia, oh. help me! Bonjour! Dia, Noel smacks Akarsha really hard. Ow! How mean! Noel hands Dia the water bottle as though nothing happened. Dia twists the plastic sealed cap open and returns the bottle to Noel. Thank you! Are you alright? You seem off. Think about that before you hit me? Not everything is about you! I was talking to Dia! <laughs> We've made her into such a whiny bitch. What? But there's nothing wrong with her. Well, she's very high strung, so I'm trying to give that impression of cross. So you're just acting like your normal self? Yes. Are you blind? She looks like a dog who just ate a Christmas ornament! <laughs> Crap, that's obvious. Are you devastated about tiger sharks again? What? Dia found a picture of what tiger sharks looked like the other day and was so disappointed that she had to go lie down. I don't even know what she was expecting. Okay, seriously, I, d I seriously doubt that's the issue right now. Dia, let me rephrase. Are you secretly worried about something and you can tell me what it is? I can't tell her that I'm a lesbiab. A lesbiab? I knew it. She's become an emo. All the warning signs were there. The black hair, the... We all have black hair! <laughs> Dia, you know you can tell me anything, right? Let me know if you've changed your mind. Okay. <laughs> the flyer says, join the new baseball club. Beginners welcome. <gasps> oh! It's a baseball club! Baseball club! Um, viewers, if you have not gone on Mari's Twitter and seen the picture of baby Mari playing baseball, you should do it. I'm playing softball in that picture. I have pictures oh. of me playing baseball, too. But that's my softball picture. She's throwing a round ball. You should be able to tell because the ball is yellow and slightly bigger. It's hard to tell because you are so small. Shut up. I was I was a very I, good I'm catcher. picturing I'm picturing like you like just being so little that the baseball was like a basketball size in your hand. Listen. I was not the shortest person on my softball team. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> It'll probably be all guys. What? Don't girls play baseball too? I saw it on TV before. Thinking of softball, not baseball. What's the difference? Softball is like baseball put through Google Translate and back. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is off by a few degrees. Dia takes a closer look at the flyer. The first meeting is this Friday. It'll be scary going all by myself, but I made a promise back then. She would have she would have been disappointed if I didn't go. At the meeting. Are you going to be okay on your own with a bunch of strangers? <laughs> I thought so. If you're going, I'm going with you. Mom! But don't you hate sports? Of course I won't participate. I'll just be utilize, utilize the time to do homework. Thanks. <laughs> I feel a bit better now. Back by unpopular demand, me. Why are you here? I'm bored! There's not enough drama around here for my taste. I'll be the idea man. We don't need an idea man! New baseball rule, everyone gets a brick. What you do with it is up to you. Baseball without limits. <laughs> Just go home already! There's a stranger! Wow, she's taller than me. Tall girl. Dia accidentally makes eye contact with her. Oh no! Hey! <gasps> the stranger starts walking over. Crap, she's coming this way. She looks intimidating. If I say the wrong thing, she'll think I'm weird. Maybe if I lie motionless on the ground, she'll think I'm a <laughs> sleeper dead. Yeah, good plan. Dia plays dead! No, Dia, don't do this! Hey, you guys are here to join the baseball club, right? I'm Krissa. They call me Ukub Shub. No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. It's Welsh. No, it's not Welsh. <laughs> Her name is Akarsha. I'm so sorry. She's no. She's always like this. And this is Dia. Get up. <laughs> Noelle is trying to pull an unresponsive Dia back into upright position. Really. 
Uh, is she okay? She's fine. She just takes a while to warm up to people. No kidding. She did this to me for the entire month of September. Dia has finally given, given up on faking her death. Quiet kid, huh? Why does everyone always say that? Not that quiet. I don't know. Maybe it's the laying face down on the ground thing. Yeah. I mean, I don't maybe know. it's pretending to be dead instead of talking to people, but who knows? She's not much of a talker, but she's shredded. Look how ripped her abs are. Akarsha tries to lift up Dia's shirt to expose her stomach. <laughs> Calmly, Dia catches Akarsha's wrist and twists it behind her back. Ah, oh, okay! Mercy! Dia played a lot of baseball baseball back in elementary school. That's great. What position did she play? Uh, uh she's the person standing behind the, the swinging place. <laughs> you mean the batter's box? I'm a catcher. The swinging place? Really, man? Shut up! How was I supposed to know? What do you call the bat, then? The baseball stick? I said shut up! <laughs> what about you, Akarsha? I can bench press over 6,092,000 nanograms. That's barely two pounds. <laughs> it sounded way better the way I said it. Krissa turns to Noelle and points at her. What about you? You haven't introduced yourself yet. Oh, I'm here to join. We probably won't meet again. That's a shame. I should try to change your mind. God, sometimes I imagine the people just walking past my apartment door being like, What is happening in there? <laughs> like, <laughs> what are they talking about and why are they talking like that? Why are they talking so loud <laughs> and in these weird voices? <laughs> and, yeah. I strongly advise against it. Your efforts will, will blah, blah. Your efforts will pr prove futile. Okay, Borg. If you say so. In any case, we're all we're glad you all came. We'll be starting the meeting in a bit. In the meantime, you guys can get your paperwork from Liz first. Gotcha. Krissa goes off to greet some other girls who showed up. I guess she isn't too scary after all. She seems like the kind of person who would walk into a pizza restaurant she ate at one time six years ago and yell, Remember us? <laughs> Hello, can I help you? You must be Liz. Yep. She hands them their forms. I don't need one. I'm not here to join. Uh, are you sure? We'd love to have you. No, you really don't. I'm not the athletic type. <laughs> Then joining us would, then joining us would do you some good, don't you think? We need all the players we can get, so don't be afraid. We'll reject you or anything like that. We'll accept you no matter what, whether you're good, bad, dumb, weird, unathletic. What's with all those insults mixed in? And no, I'm generally not interested. I hate sports. I'm just here for Dia. Oh, that's so sweet of you. It's not that. It's not as though it takes a lot of effort to sit there and do nothing. I coincidentally happen to be free today anyway. Huh? you don't have to get all embarrassed about it. I'm not getting embarrassed! <laughs> Liz smiles at Dia, who shrinks back in fear. I'm so glad you came. I had a feeling you would. I was one at one of your games when you were little. You were so scary, everyone would back up whenever you came up to bat. By the way, why is everyone in this club a girl? What? They are? Look, there's us four, Krissa, and then some other random girls over there. Man, if the boys in the school knew what was up, at least one of them would have joined. And then they were like, oh wait, they're For all sure. lesbians. They're all... Oh yeah. wait, they're all lesbians! <laughs> <laughs> That's so odd. So, it isn't our purpose? Nope, I don't know why those other girls joined. What a strange coincidence. <laughs> How weird. I bet, you know what I bet? What? Men wrote on all the signs, girls only. <laughs> you think so? I, I think so. I, uh, did she, I don't think she goes to their school. No, because remember they just saw men walk by. Oh, I thought she was at, I thought they were at like... No, because they pulled the alarm and went to the field where everybody goes. Yeah. And Min walked by them. So I think Min goes to their school. How could she go to their school and they wouldn't She moved know? back. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. I'm just like catching up from last time we played this. 
Are you sure you guys didn't like subconsciously do it? Why would we subconsciously want a group of girls? You know what it is. Mm. It's the lesbian goddesses. Bringing the, the, them. No, the lesbiab? The lesbiab goddesses. That, you know, they use their gay powers to like bring these gays together. Mm -hmm. That's when I. Whenever people are like, that seems unpractical. I'm like, no. The lesbian goddesses made it so. Because mm -hmm. guys are like communism. They're good at concept, but in reality, they suck. When you gather enough guys into a group, they suddenly become a bunch of douchebags. I won't say that's wrong. It's like magic. What kind of overgeneralization is that? A true one, Noel. A true one. <laughs> it's not racist if it's true! <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you ever stand in a circle of people talking and not say anything the entire time? Yes. There's no reason for me to be here. I wonder how, how, how it's so easy for them to just talk. Dia stares off into space. Eventually, the conversation draws to a close, and Liz goes off to attend to the other group members. Finally. Dude, I just can't get over how weird her name is. The heck kind of name is Liz? It's probably short for something. Like what? Lizbian? Lesbian? <laughs> <laughs> That's not a name. <laughs> Liz Erdman? That'd be a thousand times weirder than Liz in the first place. No, wait, I've got it. Her parents met at a pet co when the lizards went on sale, but there was only one left. So then they were like, darn, we gotta get married and share it. No one would get married over that. You'd be surprised, man. Some people are hella desperate. <laughs> Nobody is that desperate. I mean, I, I don't am. know. I, mean, I am. <laughs> If someone wanted to get married to me over a lizard, I'd be like, you know what? Fine. You know what? I got nothing else going on right yeah, now. Yeah, there's no other, I got no other prospects except yeah. for like three, but they're annoying. <laughs> and then Lizard Man was born. They gave their kid a name that paid homage to her lizard origins, but in like a low key way. Totally plausible, myth confirmed. Noelle is trying really hard not to smile. Myth not confirmed. Her name could just be Liz by itself. Nah, that's boring. My beautiful romance is way better. Your beautiful romance was set in Petco. So picky, man. What kind of Frenchman are you? Weird name, no mustache, no romance. Like, how, I, how is my name weird? All names have, orig have to originate from somewhere. I don't get why you're so fixated on it. Because it's strange? Isn't Noelle normally a name you give to kids born in December? My parents are Asian. They don't know that. <laughs> it's true. Because Asian parents sometimes when they... Or it could be with all immigrant parents. I don't know. But I remember my aunties named Carlene because they saw on a... On a... Um, what's it called? Those big signs? Billboard? Billboard? Yeah, one of those billboards. Like some actress was named Carlene. So her, my auntie and like every other girl born that year was named Carlene because um, it was after the World War II and they were like, we're American! Her name's Carlene! America! I, You know what I always find really interesting? So you know how like a lot of um, like Asian uh, immigrants will take like Americanized names like as like secondary names um, but because they're choosing them based on like what they think is pretty and they don't have the same like conceptions of these names as like people born in America might they'll choose names that are like generationally like really older names so mm -hmm. like you'll have like a 20 year Helen yeah like a 20 year old Asian woman named like Glenda or something like that and then they bring it back because they, they're like and they bring it back they brought it back and bringing it back and bring Glenda so, back so like all like the Americans with that name are in their like 50s or 60s or 70s there was like a lot of Hoppa girls in my grade which uh is cool so like one was Courtney another one was called Xena I don't know where that came from. I'm pretty sure her dad was just a dork and loved Xeno. Oh my god, that's <laughs> fucking sweet! <laughs> it's like how it's like how there's a guy in our class named Sky, but his parents didn't know it was a girl name. There's also a Chinese guy in, in the grade above us named Stone. Stone. Stone! I'm pretty sure my parents stole my name from a random girl who lived down the street. They probably didn't know a lot of western names and just thought it sounded good. 
But still, what kind of Chinese parents would name their kid Noel? Her parents, obviously a car shop. <laughs> it doesn't match up at all. It's like if I had a kid and named him Naruto. You know what? Hey, Naruto, sure. <laughs> I fully support people who, you know, to go for it. Noel looks really taken aback. I, I will only allow white people to name their kid Asian names if it's from a famous anime. Because... At that point, the name is, is, it's been beyond. It's the public domain. <laughs> it's public domain now. <laughs> yeah. You can name your kid Naruto or Inuyasha. Listen, if your name is, is Naruto or Inuyasha and you're listening to this, please comment and let us know. Okay? What's not okay is if you're not Asian and you're like, I love anime so much I'm going to give myself an anime name. You're like, no, anime comes from Japan, not a magical world. <laughs> Yeah. It's a real place. I'm so excited to go to Japan. Oh my god. It's gonna be great. You're gonna love it. That would be weird. Literally all your ancestors going back for centuries had names like Wong Karwai or Mulan or whatever. And then there's you, Combo Breaker. Also, do you, you ever think about how crazy it is that we're friends? In any part of our history up until now, we never would have met. And even if we did, by some miracle, we would, wouldn't speak the same language. That is really cool. We wouldn't even be able to communicate. I wouldn't exist. And then people were always like, I can't believe it. Your mom and your dad are from two totally places. I'm like, yeah, we live in America. Duh. Yeah. I mean, my family, like, all my grandparents come from completely different places. So. Whenever I meet people online who are, like, from Middle Europe, you know, that area kind of like or like New Zealand or something they're like wow I can't believe you're mixed or like from Hungary you know mm -hmm. they're always like wow they're what two random mixes and I forget that like there's other countries that are like mostly mono ethnic or have mixes that are just not that yeah yeah or or like where it's like there's like a couple common things yeah they'll be like just two where, different races whereas, but then that's it whereas here it's like you could ask like you know, some Americans are have like 18 different nationalities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got my 23 and me genetic test expecting like to be surprised, and then and I was like, oh no, it's exactly what I thought. It was like literally 50% East Asian, Native American, 50% European, and I was like, oh. And then there's the only says the God, Native mom, American. Dad, you're so boring. God, mom, ish. My mom was 99. Point six something percent Japanese and then she was like upset because she was like what do you mean I'm not 100 percent I was like mom nobody can be 100 what do you mean it's <laughs> <laughs> like some some ancestor way back there was like Chinese or something and she was like what are you saying to me Mari <laughs> excuse me nah we wouldn't but I honestly thought that like I couldn't my mom couldn't be 100% because I had double eyes and my mom had double eyes and my aunties had double eyes. So I was like, nobody who's 100% has double eyes, but I guess not. Um, I mean, but it's also, I would think that also like the genetic tests, like they can't be perfect, you know? Like, it can't, it can't be like a flawless test, you know? Because people move around too much. I wouldn't think that they would be able to, like, say, yes, you are 100% this thing. Like, isn't there some room for error, you know? I don't know. We should do it again because then my mom's gonna freak out. She's freak like, the fuck out. They don't speak Hindi into... Oh, Tamil. That's right. Nadu, right? Madrasi? Don't call me that. What's wrong with calling you Madras Madrasi when you're from Madras? Madras? I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. What's wrong with calling you an idiot when you are one? It's sad imagining Noelle all by herself on an island, a little island in Taiwan. What do you mean all by herself? It's not like I'd be completely alone without you two. Um. Stop looking skeptical. <laughs> I would be able to make different friends. Sure, if you say so. You're the worst. I hate you. Krista brings her fingers to her lips and lets out a sharp whistle to get their attention. Alright guys, meeting starting. Everyone gathers in front of Krista and Liz. Welcome to the baseball club. 
As you're probably aware, our school doesn't have an official baseball program anymore, so we made one ourselves. You guys can think of a baseball team light edition. Or a cheap budget edition, since we can't afford to hire managers and stuff. Light edition sounds less crappy, like Coke Zero. What? Anyhow, you can read up on the details in your club membership forms. It's pretty self-explanatory. This is just a recreational club for fun, not an official school sports team, so the paperwork is really simple. It's There's just a membership fee and a sheet your parents have to sign. Basically, the sheet says if you get hurt or whatever while you're here, you can't sue us. There's an undertone to this music that sounds like a phone buzzing and it's driving me insane. Because I keep thinking I'm getting texts. Just turn it down. No, like, just the undertone of the music. There's an undertone. Do you ever, like, listen to music or, like, watch a TV show and they have some sort of, like, sound effect that sounds like a phone buzzing but not quite? And you're like, why the fuck would you put that in I can song? do you one better. When they put sirens in the music? No, 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 no. Oh, no. But I was gonna With say... With that one Rihanna song that had the fucking sirens, every single time it came on, I... <laughs> no, like, they had police sirens in it, and every single time I thought I was getting pulled whoop, over. Whoop. That's the sound of the police. <laughs> whoop, whoop. It was like, whoop. it was like the exact same sound as a police siren. I was like, Rihanna, why would you do this to me? Because it would come on the radio, and then this play song would play. And you'd and be like, I'm getting pulled over! And i get, like, really anxious because I'm like, cops, cops, cops! Oh, there's no cops. What's going on? Rihanna! <laughs> um... Actually, whenever I whenever I hear like fans and stuff, I hear like random music. That's because of your brain, right? Yeah. I don't do you know. still hear the music? Or yeah. Is, you still do? Yeah. It's with. I you don't, could like, you could just be jamming at any moment then. Yeah. But it's like it's really weird. Like the whenever I um. I think that happened to me when I was on a certain medication, and I was like, "This sounds like something Stacy happened, and I don't want it." Yeah. So like whenever it's like. It's not all fans, but, like, certain types of fans. It's, like, it just sounds like there's, like, faint music playing somewhere. And I've, like, tested this a million times because I always think, like, there's got to be, like... There's other sounds that make you do that, too, I remember. Yeah. There's other, like, anything that's a low frequency, you start being, like, what? Yeah. Where's that music? No, there's no music. There is music, There's Mari. music somewhere. Um, and I also, like... Th- uh, like a sound of like a television being on that drives me fucking crazy. The, you know? the static sound? Or no, just the sound? like the high pitched noise when it's on. But like, do you know what I'm talking that sound, about? The ee. Yeah. That's because it sounds like voices. Yeah. So. Hi, we're narrow atypical. <laughs> A. Do you want to hang out with us? We hear music and voices. We hear, I hear music when fans go on. I think people are whispering my name sometimes. But I think that's fine, I guess. I'm just glad that I don't, like, visually hallucinate all the time anymore, because that was a rough time. You had, a, actually, Stacey, if you think of it this way, you had a free cat that didn't take... I you. had a free cat! You, yeah. Stacey used to hallucinate a cat, but, think of it this way, it was free, and you didn't have to take free, care of it, or pee, pet. and, like, pay... Like clean up and after I it, or bring it, it everywhere with me. Yeah, so you know what? Actually, I could bring the cat your, to work. Stop taking your meds. <laughs> I have an idea. <laughs> and then you wanted to get a black cat, and I was like, Cece, you can't get a black cat. You won't know when you're. <laughs> you won't know if it's real. <laughs> you wanted a black cat. I was like, no, you can't get one. Oh, and our practice schedule's in there too, though we're still negotiating our game dates. Stacy, what if it wasn't a hallucination, but it was actually you're familiar and you're secretly a witch, and the and the medicine is like suppressing your witch powers? I feel like I read a book about that. I feel like it's true. That's that. To, you know what? That totally sounds like. That totally sounds like the introduction to one of those like YouTube channel videos where they're like, and then she thought that her medication was suppressing her witch powers, so she stopped taking it. Oh, was it like top ten like women killers yeah, who like yeah. stopped taking their meds or yeah. something? And that's and that's when he knew he was in deep trouble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unsolved murder cases. You know, I've always wanted to be on a compilation video, so... <laughs> no, you can be on Female Killers. and You can be an Investigation Discovery episode. Listen, I only want to commit murder if I can have my own TV special. No, you're gonna be on, like, several things called, like, Female Killers. Who the bleep did I marry? <laughs> 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 you- 
yeah. If we're gonna get divorced, we're gonna do it right. Yeah, we're gonna. I do want it an, right. I want an episode on who the bleep did I marry. Also on who the bleep. I want to be on female killers. I want to be on a, every investigation discovery channel episode ever. I Absolutely. Want, I want money. I want interviews. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. A girl standing in front of Dia raises her hand. Game dates? Who are we playing against? Whoever we can get, mostly teams from other schools. But don't worry, it'll be pretty casual. Hopefully we'll have enough members to at least fill the roster by then. Any other questions? If every person on Earth aimed a laser pointer at the moon at the same time, would it visibly change color? I'm really thinking about that. <laughs> I don't think they would reach, would they? Well... So, I think it would, because light just keeps going, but, like, the atmosphere... I mean, uh, if it was I, I a guess clear I'm... night, and then between the moon and here, like, once you get past the atmosphere, there's nothing, so light can just go, and, like, I it just... won't be interrupted by the air. I mean, but then, like, foreseeably, you could... I don't know. Okay, so you know how, like, when people were pointing laser pointers at airplanes, and then, like, making them almost crash... No. Okay, so that's a thing. And so the laser pointer gradually, like, the beam gets wider and wider. So people are pointing them at the the front windows of the airplanes and getting the making the le cockpit, like, completely light up, blinding the people. They were doing it while they were taking off. And oh. they thought it was funny, but they didn't, like, realize that they were I was going to say, how did it get in there? Because the windows are on the top of the plane so like how it was while they were taking off or like while they were like up in the air you can do it like if you just like do it just right huh. but like the people who were doing didn't like really realize what they were doing yeah they like they that they're like oh we're being annoying but they're like people that come like we're dying yeah <laughs> we're being abducted by aliens um but yeah so maybe now i really want to know any relevant questions? That's a real question, though. <laughs> Rele it's not relevant, though. Silence. Then let's all introduce ourselves with a cheesy icebreaker activity. What color of the laser? Because, like, the red laser beams, I don't know, but those green ones are really powerful. Like, the powerful laser ones? I don't know. Say your name, grade, and one fun fact about yourself. Dia immediately wants to go home. I hate these. No, I hate these. I, I just, that's what I was thinking. That's, I can never think of any fun facts. I'm boring. I hate doing it because I feel like if I use any fun facts, it's like bragging, and I just don't want to. Mm -hmm. I just usually go for, like, things that I like to do, like hobbies, because then it's like, you know. I like to sit around and stare at Cause my Because even if you just said, like, oh, I really like Buffy the Vampire Slayer, like, that's just, you know. That can't be. I'll start. I'm Krissa, and I'm a senior. Fun fact, uh... I have one. She reads cryptid articles at night and scares herself, and then, it, and then is afraid to get up and use the bathroom. <gasps> That's so real. <laughs> because I'm like, I, like, I was watching a... Okay, I gotta stop. <laughs> yeah. If you're gonna choose a fact for me, at least choose a flattering one. Hey, makes you relatable. My turn now. I'm Liz, and I'm a senior, too. Her fun fact is that she can lick her elbow. I thought that was supposed to be impossible. Do it! Liz, Liz. does it. What the? What, is she a clown? I think it, you would have to, like, you would have to... No, some people are, are just flexible enough to be able to do if it. You, well, I mean, and also if you dislocate your shoulder. She's not dislocating her shoulder, Stacy. Or if you turn your arm around backwards... Some people are just really flexible, and some people just have long tongues, and some people's things are just I'm telling like, you, all you have to do is pop this right back. Okay, do it. No, I'm, I'm saying, like, for, just people, do it, then. for people that are double-jointed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. I'm not double-jointed. I can't do these things. Liz gestures at another girl to go next. Watashi wa sakuru desu. And I'm Yuki. There's no way those are your real names. Yuki's a real name. Hey, it doesn't hurt to humor them. Support their interests. Yuki's a real name. No, no, no. That's not their real names. Watashiwa am in 10th grade. 
Tashiwa am in 10th grade too. You better fucking be Japanese, otherwise you're gonna get a slap. I Yuki. think, yeah, I think they're just, uh, stop talking like that. I think they're just anime super fans. I found my people! The next girl up looks more normal. I'm Esther. Wait, why are you here? I tried to recruit you before. You said you weren't interested in baseball. I'll give it a chance. All right, which anime has baseball in it? Fooly Cooly. What? I never said it was because of which anime has baseball in it. It's, it's Ufuri. She has a bleach shirt on it. Before anyone wastes 13 seasons watching Bleach, I wish you know, they never fuck. And if you still want to watch it, okay. But they it never, never happens. Fuck. They never fuck. There's a bunch of other cool stuff, like, I don't know, plot and whatever, but they never fuck, so... I thought there was more than... I thought there was, like, more seasons than that. Which, 13 seasons? Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I thought... What's the anime that has, like, I don't know, like, 27 seasons or something crazy? Naruto. Oh, okay. Yeah. I can't... I can't... It's too much. Don't tell me why Sakura and Yuki are here, too. I like it when anime is just, like, one season, but it's, like, that's what it was supposed to be. Because everything gets wrapped up. And it's not like pulled out. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of like the difference in, the difference in um, how the UK and America do television shows. Because with the UK, you'll have like three or six episodes that are like an hour long, and in the US, it's like we have twenty four hour long episodes in a season of TV. You know? Yeah, but the UK has been getting our bug now because they've been ruining Broadchurch. And all that stuff. They're like, oh, let's have this, like... And then they have Sherlock with its, like, fake deepness. I got into season two and I was like, wait a second, this is dumb. Oh. I like Sherlock. Oh, sorry! I mean, it's great! <laughs> no, you don't have to like it. No, the first season's really good. I mean, I don't like half the dumb shit you watch, so... <laughs> <laughs> How dare you! Although, Mari did recommend she showed me the episode of Lemony Snicket... Is that what it is? Yeah. Yeah. And what is a series of unfortunate... Lemony Snicket's a series of unfortunate events, and I really like it because a bunch of horrible things happen to good people. I watch... I used to read that book al alone in the library. <laughs> Heck no. I'm here because of da Dia and no Ace. Of Dia no Ace. Dia? I think that... Okay. I don't know. What? Is it a crime to like anime? Yes. yes. <laughs> okay, let's move on. <laughs> Dia watches the icebreaker's progress with mounting terror. Her palms have grown clammy, like when she's getting ready to say here during roll call. Crap, it's almost my turn and I still can't think of any cool facts. I like crunching on ice cubes. When I go to people's houses, I'm too scared to ask for where their cups are, so I go to the bathroom and drink from the faucet instead. <laughs> That's too real. Oh my Whatever. God. Whenever an assembly is over and we're supposed to help carry the folding chairs, I secretly hope people notice how many I'm holding. <laughs> These are all so bad, what the- By now, three other people have gone. It's Akarsha's turn. What up, ding-dongs? I'm a freshman. Ding-dongs. <laughs> My name is Wikishi. <laughs> Fun fact, I once found two mutant tater tots that were fused together and sold them on eBay for 40 bucks. Selling things sounds stressful. I would have just eaten them. Noelle is the next one over, so everyone looks at her expectantly. Skip me. I'm not here to join. Let's move on to Dia, shall we? All eyes are on Dia now. Okay. Calm down, me. All I have to do is say I'm Dia. Wait. Did she just say my name? Does it sound redundant if I repeat it? No, I'm overthinking this. I should just say it, say it like everyone else. I'm Dia. Yeah, so far so good. <laughs> What else was I supposed to say? Panic is rising in Dia's chest. I've already messed up. I'm embarrassing myself in front of everyone. This is the worst, even worse than reading a passage out loud in class. I shouldn't have come here. Dia bolts from the meeting. Distantly, she can hear Noelle calling after her. Dia, wait! I can't I go back now. 